we begin tonight with major health concerns for hundreds of local factory workers. Yeah, listen to this. Employees at Tesla in South Buffalo, they say problems began with a bed bug infestation. Now an effort to fight those off with chemicals, that's having harmful side effects. Yeah, no, this is happening inside the Tesla Gigafactory on South Park Avenue. A report filed with the state last year shows more than 1,700 people work there full time. We first learned about the bed bug problems earlier this week with an email to our newsroom. It claimed workers had to go in after chemicals were sprayed and now people are experiencing breathing problems and skin and eye irritation. And beyond that email, you talked about concerned workers and family members. They've also called, texted, even sent mail to our newsroom like this to raise the alarm about this situation. So tonight, 7 News reporter Derek Hyde speaking with employees about the conditions inside this factory. It just makes me feel like that they're treating like just people in general is not human. That employee at the Tesla Gigafactory 2 plant in South Buffalo sent me this video. The creature you see there, a bed bug she says was crawling in her workspace Monday. She's one of several employees turning to 7 News for help, frustrated over what they're calling a bed bug infestation inside the plant. They're sharing their experiences anonymously because Tesla workers are required to sign non-disclosure agreements. We have altered their voices to protect their identities. I, I'm mainly um, concerned about holding them accountable for their, their uh, lack of swift response. Workers say the outbreak began last Thursday. I reached out to Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, after employees contacted me. An OSHA spokesperson tells me the agency has actually received dozens of calls regarding bed bugs inside the South Buffalo factory. Anytime we would ask questions, they would say they're looking into it, but they never would get back to us. And they haven't gotten back to me either. I have emailed and called Tesla to comment on these claims a total of nine times over the past two days. Hi, my name's Derek Hyde. I'm a reporter at 7 News in Buffalo, but have yet to receive a single response. Workers say chemicals were sprayed inside to kill the bugs, leaving this residue all around the office. You could tell there was a, a scent of chemicals in there. Various chairs that had a residue uh, sprayed on the back of them. It looked almost like a film on like the backs of chairs, on some chairs, on some people's jackets because there was no warning ahead of time. Workers I spoke with say they were later informed by managers and co-workers that the sprayed chemical was Sterifab, which according to health documents provided to them, can cause skin and eye irritation and is harmful if inhaled or touched. The Sterifab website says rooms are safe to enter 15 minutes after use of the product. Still, these Tesla workers tell me they're feeling side effects. Me and a few co-workers, I started burning. Um, they also got really puffy. Um, I started to have some breathing issues. Another worker sent me a message saying many other workers, including myself, had symptoms of dizziness as well as throat swelling, nausea, and burning eyes. These same workers say getting out of work has been tough and they've had to use vacation or sick time to avoid these conditions. The chance of being around potentially toxic chemicals uh, doesn't make me feel comfortable either. OSHA tells me it's investigating all of this, but doesn't have any specific workplace standards for bed bugs. It's now looking into whether Tesla followed proper protocols for any chemicals used. Derek Hyde, 7 News, South Buffalo. Derek, thank you so much. Uh, the Tesla plant, as many of us know, it is not immune to controversy. New York State under the Cuomo administration spent nearly a billion dollars to build the plant. It opened in 2017. Tesla is leasing that facility for just $1 a year for 10 years. A state controller's audit found just 54 cents is being returned to the local economy for every state taxpayers spent on the factory. The CEO of Tesla is Elon Musk, as many of you are aware, whose net worth is more than $230 billion.